right guys first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a clay flower pot or any type it could be a little plastic pot whatever you have laying around or what you can grab at the dollar store and we're going to take some of this floral foam um, it doesn't matter if it's wet or dry foam you can get the, these at the dollar store as well you're gonna take that and we're gonna stick it inside as so now I already got one wedged in here I'm gonna make a couple of these um, this don't worry about there being spaces or anything this is kind of just to keep your man-eating plant in place we're gonna fill this with moss or stone whatever you want next thing we're going to do is we're going to make our man-eating plant I lost one of the balls it rolled away one second found it <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our man-eating plant um, and we're going to, we're going to take one of these styrofoam balls and we're going to turn this into the head. Now, you can use a box cutter, an X-Acto knife, a kitchen knife, just be very, very careful. We don't want you injuring yourself. I think I'm going to use the kitchen knife for this. Let me move my glue gun over. And all I'm going to do I don't want to tell you guys how many times I've cut or burnt myself making Halloween props. Like, I'm actually ridiculous when it comes to that. Now, you can cut this straight in half. I, however, I'm also gonna cut it straight in half. <laughs> I was gonna go in and do like a triangle. Yeah, I'm gonna do the triangle. Okay, I'm gonna go in. And do a triangle. His mouth is gonna look like, you know, um, old school Mario on the Nintendo and you're in like world, what is it? World four, like the sand desert world. And you gotta run away from those um, cannonballs on the chain. That's kind of how I'm picturing his mouth. <gasps> Feed me. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. Okay. Good, good. Very nice. Now we have this guy, if you can kind of see that. Looking like this. We have him looking like that. And you can just clean out any icky bits. Now, I'd say when you're eyeing this, you can kind of see this half is going to be the bottom. That's kind of a little bit skinnier than this half, which is going to be the top. So we want there to be um, more area on the top for his head. Come here, Bessie. Clear out his throat there. <laughs> Now, I want to make some designs for this dude. How are we gonna do that? Well, very simple. We are going to take our glue gun. Hmm. Hmm. This is why I get burnt all the time. <laughs> We're going to take our glue gun and actually before I even take my glue gun, um, I don't wanna be handling him too much because that's how you accidentally get burnt. And I'm just going to stick a little dowel right here. Yeah, break them off right about there. And we are going to make some designs. If you noticed on my previous man-eating plant, the big one behind me, he has little like veiny type grooves. And because these are his babies, we are gonna try and create that. So all I'm doing 
is gently and lightly doing some little zigzags. Don't overdo it. Styrofoam melts. We don't want any of this to melt. Hot glue and styrofoam typically don't go well together, so can you kind of see the grooves that are forming there? I know that it's a pain with the lighting. I can kind of see it. Let's go again. Now I'm just doing little ziggy zaggy lines. This is gonna dry and look great. And we're gonna do some under his chin. Again, this needs to be done slowly and you don't wanna to put too much on it in case it starts melting the ball. Then you're gonna have caved in areas and divots where you don't want them. There we are. Now, I am pretty happy with that. You can kind of see all of his little veins. Next thing I'm going to do is make him some teeth. Now, there are a couple of methods for teeth. My big guy here, I use polymer clay. You can go to Michael's or on Amazon and you can get the tiny bricks of uh, polymer clay for 99 cents. You could use tin foil and paint it. Um, paint doesn't really stand tin foil too well, but it is an option and you can do it. You could use glue. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I am just going oop another idea a good idea brb i'm back I can't believe I didn't think of it in the first place. All right. So I had to run to the store for these because, focus, thank you. Because we are all out. I love the dollar store. Chief, <laughs> little toothpicks. Obviously, like that should have been the most obvious choice. Okay, so this is gonna be super simple because you can just break that bad boy in half and insert him in the mouth like so. And that might be a little too angled. Let's go this way. I make him shorter. Okay, so do this. Beautiful. I'm just gonna do that a bunch of times. Simple, easy. Easy, breezy, breezy, come There we go. Oh my gosh, already looks so adorable with all of his teeth. So good, him. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's like the simplest things. You wouldn't think of it. Well, maybe some people are watching this and they did think of it. And like. Props to you. Sometimes I have slow moments. <laughs> if any of you guys decide to try this, please tag me. Let me see what you did and if you adjusted anything to make it better.
Oh, we're getting tricky. Oops. Push them right at the bottom of this jar. Oh my gosh, baby shark. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. He looks creepy. I love him. It's, it was love at first sight. Now, actually, I'm going to leave him on this towel. I like him here. So I'm going to secure him with a little spot of glue. Again, you don't want to go crazy because glue melts styrofoam. So we'll work with them off of this. Now that we have that done, we're going to start painting him. I have really cool paints here. You do not have to use spray paint. Be very careful if you do use spray paint. I am lazy, so I like to go in with spray paint for everything. Um, but spray paint will eat styrofoam. So be so careful with it. Don't go overboard. Don't go crazy. And make sure you pick up some um, clear or glossy Mod Podge to seal all your paint in. I would honestly recommend doing a matte um, did I say clear or glossy? I think I did. Matte or glossy. I would recommend getting both. You can get little ones from the dollar store for a dollar each. Um, get the matte for the outer layer and get the glossy for inside his mouth. <laughs> trust me. Just trust me. It'll look good. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to shake this guy up. Now, always use a respirator mask or do this in an open space. You can't see, but my garage door is wide open. My shop door on this side is open. I have ventilation on all sides. I am not technically indoors right now. I am, but I'm not. Okay. Now, I didn't give him lips. Now that I see this on here, I wanna give him lips. Let's do that with the hot glue. Same way we did the little veins. We are just going to cross like that. I'm going to take it this way. There we go. And we're going to go like that. Kind of build up so he's got some pepper lurks. There you go. He's in the back. Alrighty. So this guy has dried quite nicely. I took some of the hot glue and I just spiraled it down. So it looks like once we get it painted, there's going to be some vines there. I'm not sure how well you can see this. But there's Buddy's lips. He's looking cute. Let's see if I cover it this way. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, be careful if you're going to do this. I'm going to use spray paint to do the inside of his mouth. I would go back if I do um, the other ones. What I will be doing in the future, and I would if I were you guys, take the teeth out and do the inside of the mouth first. <laughs> okay, you can do red or black. I'm going to do black because my big plant has black inside of his throat. And you just want to be careful because I can't stress this enough. It will eat it. <laughs> it's not good for the styrofoam. I don't know what accent that was. I've been watching a lot of Hotel Transylvania, so. 
um, give that a second to dry and then you can go back in and do another layer of your green. Now this time I'm gonna hold down here and we're gonna rotate, rotate, rotate. Very nice, very, very nice. I'm gonna take this guy while he dries and just stick him in his little home there and give that a couple of minutes the next color i'm going to use is red i need to find some red i'm so unprepared right this second so we have our little guy he's tacky still there's a lot of paint that needs to cure on him but your next step is going to be doing your teeth and your lips. You're, you're gonna be doing the lips in this step. I'm just doing the teeth because as we discussed before, I was the uh, intelligent person that put the teeth in before painting. And now he has black teeth, which I don't hate. I think it's kind of cool. Um, might give the teeth like a rotten look, so maybe we only make the teeth white from, I don't know, maybe halfway down and kind of blend it into the black. Can I touch you now? Probably not safe to touch you now. Okay. Oh, look at you and your white okay. little teeth. So, we're just gonna go through the teeth again really quick. Get them nice and wet. Like we pointed out before, they don't have to be perfect. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to take this and I have, ooh, a pink and red, maybe the pink. Let's see. We're going to take our pinky color and we're going to go over the lips slightly. Now, our little demon plant baby is looking so cute. I'm going to get rid of this paint and I'm going to keep the white and a little bit of this darker pink. Okay. Green. Why did I say pink? I am going to grab a brush. We're going to do highlights and shadowing. So our shadowing is going to be in between those little veiny things that we put on with the glue gun. It's going to give it more depth and help it pop out a little bit more. So just in doing that, right here, you can already see the difference. This side, no shadowing. This side with shadowing. Sometimes it's something very little like this that makes a big difference. Now, because you are working with styrofoam, like I said, the glue might have melted little bits, 
you might have to go in and blot your paint in versus actually painting to fill any little holes. Sorry guys, camera died. Alrighty. <laughs> so all of the shrubbery that I have here in the moss that we're about to add to this little baby is from the dollar store. By the time you're done with everything, you're going to spend under $20 and you're going to be able to make a few of these, which is just, I mean, like, what more do you want? <laughs> okay. So my little guy here is going to get some moss put on the ground. I am going to glue the moss in. around and there we go we are also going to put where'd they go where'd they go the same shrubbery that mommy plant has now just pressing this in the back you can literally do anything you want with these. Um, you can put little vines around it, little flowers in his pot. You can even make it so the shrubbery looks like he has arms or hands. You can make it look like um, it's coming down and out of the pot if you want. That would be totally cute. Do something like that. Like push it in and then you could just take a speck of glue and glue him down like that. I mean, there's so much you can do with this and you could even put multiples on there. So don't be scared. You can grab yourself a bigger styrofoam ball and, or a littler one than this and have two different sides of heads coming out of your pot. Like I said before, I have a giant one here and I'm making different sizes to put in our window and I'm putting lights on ours. So this guy has orange lights and I've got some fairy lights here that are gonna go in and around all of these plants so you can really see them at night when you're walking by the window. Anyways though, if you guys have any questions, comments, or you think that I could have done something different that made this craft even better, let me know in the comments. I love reading through the comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And yeah, there he is. There's our little finger chomper. <laughs> he's all finished and he's ready for the window. Again, I'm gonna make a few of these guys. And yeah, he's not sealed yet. Once he does get sealed though, he is going to look so cool. Now remember, if you have these guys inside the house, you don't really have to seal them. But if you want to do this for outdoor use, which you totally can, you need to seal it. And I would recommend weighing your pots down with sand or rocks on the inside, then putting your moss in. Okay, happy crafting. See y'all next time. Oh, oh, oh.